Quick thank you to everyone who has supported the merch sales and everyone working behind the scenes. I'm creating something very new for you guys, and I got a lot more designs coming. Thank you, and enjoy today's video. Hello? We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. So finally, principal production photography has wrapped on episode 9. Uh, they're finished now, and everything is now going to be starting on VFX. This is going to be an incredibly long process, obviously, since we won't get the film until December 20th, 2019. So we got a good almost year of VFX and post-production work to be done. Now, J.J. Abrams has just tweeted this. It feels impossible, but today wrapped photography on episode 9. There's no adequate way to thank this truly magical cast and crew. I'm forever indebted to you all. So let's just analyze this photo a little bit. Basically, there's not much to say here, and I don't want to make this some huge video like, oh my god, leak! Like, no. Look, it's just Ray, Poe, and Finn. Uh, we can tell by Finn's hair it's a lot longer now, which means there is a time jump, and it's rumored that there's going to be a year between The Last Jedi and Episode Nine. They're obviously on some desert planet. It could either be Jakku, or maybe it could be Tatooine. Maybe they're doing, you know, an homage scene at the very end to Luke Skywalker and the Twin Suns or something like that. Maybe they're all looking out towards the suns. Who knows? Rey seems to be having her hair back to normal, and it just kind of seems like J.J. is doing things from The Force Awakens with, you know, costumes and hair and things like that. Now, as for Rey, we can see that she doesn't have the wraps all the way up her arm this time. Uh, rather, she has something covering her upper arm, which might just be the cut that she got from the Praetorian Guard in Snoke's throne room. Perhaps she's covering a scar, or maybe it's a wound that doesn't heal or something. Who knows? My question is, why is she always wrapped up? Why are her forearms or arms always wrapped? What's she hiding? What's under there? Or is she just trying to look cool or something? Maybe it's like some futuristic Star Wars-y tensor bandage. I don't know. Finn? Well, he's just Finn. I can't really say much about him. He just looks the same. Now, another thing that I want to highlight here is right behind Poe, we can see that Rey is still holding her staff. And there's so much controversy about the staff. If you look at the staff, you know, parts of it look like Darth Maul's lightsaber, while other parts look like Darth Plagueis' staff from, you know, the toy and this and that. And it just makes you wonder, you know, why does she still have it? What's so special about this staff? Is this perhaps a flashback scene that they had to do? Or maybe a jump in time somewhere, either forwards or backwards? I don't really know. But either way, I'm excited to say that Episode 9 has finished filming, and now they can get to VFX, and hopefully we're going to get a trailer very, very soon or at least, you know, a title drop or something like that. I hope we get something before Star Wars Celebration, that'd be awesome, but if we don't, then well, I guess we gotta wait. Let me know what you guys think the title could be, and I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have an awesome day. And as always, may the Force be with you. Now, fulfill your destiny.